Hello, Mr. Ed here. Today is June 17th, 2017. I got Wreck-It Ralph right here next to me. Ralph, get in there here. Come on, there you go. There he is right there, Wreck-It Ralph. And uh, today we're in Covington, Louisiana. Uh, we're going to be removing some bees underneath a trailer. And this is a pretty, um, pretty big hive, I think. Uh, the comb is actually already busting through uh, the bottom of the insulation, so we'll cut the insulation and uh, expose the hive and do some vacuuming and uh, hopefully, by the grace of God, these bees right here, they're going to be, again, going home with Ralph again this week. And, uh, you'll be having some new bees up in Ponchatoula. So let's do some wrangling. Here we go. Well, first, and before we do the wrangling, I'm going to go ahead and show you the, the colony, the, the hive underneath there before we cut it open and then I'll show you. Let me grab the camera and show you what we got. Well, you can see, there's, there's our bees clustered underneath here. It's very overcast um, this morning um, and spotty rain showers. Hopefully we'll, that won't be a, an issue for us or the bees right here. And so here's what we're looking at. And that hive goes all the way to that big beam right there. I shot the uh, thermal camera here uh, about two weeks ago when I came up and looked at this and it stops, at least that's what the camera said, it stops right there at that, that big beam. All right, those guys, <laughs> looks like Jiffy popcorn popping through that insulation, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and start the vacuuming and uh, get these bees moved to Ponchatoula. Here we go. Folks, can you believe this? It's like we're on a roll with these big old beehives right now. Look at the size of this thing. That has got to be three by three. I would say the good thing about it, it's only a two by six. Um, so it's not really, really um, deep comb, but there is a lot of it. Those are all the honey stores, but I, these bees swarmed recently. And, uh, and so most of these stores are gone. There's not a lot of honey in here. But, oh my gosh, that is a big hive. All right, it's time to do some more vacuuming. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. This is one reason Mr. Ed loves to wrangle bees to see this.
Well, we've got half of it taken out so far. We've been at it probably, how long we've been here, Ralph? Hour and a half? An hour and a half. Yeah, so we got, we got the, the honeycomb has been removed and we filled, oh my gosh, a bunch. Uh, we, we got Ralph's tote pretty much uh, filled up the bottom and my 48 quart is full up too to the bottom. So now we still got all these bees right here in comb to remove. Oh yeah, they all come up here. And uh, Ralph is removing a little bit more of the uh, plastic insulation to kind of like prevent the bees from running up like they did before. And uh, so trying to make do a little preventive maintenance here. All right. We're going to get back to it. You want to show them this side? Oh, yeah. Ralph says to show you all this side. Let's see what it looks like. Now, look at that, folks. The bees, as we're vacuuming, they always will run to the back of the, of the hive. So what, what we've done is Ralph's going and cut the insulation right here and then stuffed, stuffed it back there so that it doesn't give the bees any more place to run. So we're going to vacuum these bees right here and then we're going to start cutting comb. But it's looking really good. I think we still got about another hour and a half of work here, but we'll get it. Well, folks, can you believe this? What is that crawling in that cage there, Ralph? It looks like a queen. Ooh-wee! She's a big one, too. Folks, we've been vacuuming now. Oh, it's got to be two hours. And uh, we've cut that comb pretty good. And uh, I think there's two or three more big pieces still in there. And uh, the bees, uh, purposely we do that to get the bees to cluster on one side. And uh, I said, come on, Ralph, we're gonna start grabbing bees. And I probably was a third handful of them. Uh, uh, we didn't see her, but she fell on the ground. And uh, as I was sitting on the ice chest, I said, there she is, Ralph. And we nabbed her. So by the blessings of God, go Ali. He gave us a queen for the bees. Oh man, that's super. All right, I'm taking a break right now, but we're gonna get back to it. Man, that is good. Now folks, we have got this thing done. Look at that. There is so much robin going on now. Unbelievable. And that's part of the problem about doing cutouts after the nectar flow is over because it really just encourages the robin bees. So hopefully, I'm not gonna have to do any more outside cutouts. Because that's when, when you cut them out on the outside like this and expose everything to the, to the exterior, the robin is fierce, fierce. I mean, look at this, look at, look at our cutting board. I mean, this, the whole air is just full of robber bees right now. There's just so many bees. Look on, look on the tub right there. All the bees flying around it. And these, these aren't from this high. These are robber bees. There's just so many bees uh, in this area right here. Unbelievable. It really is. It's unbelievable. All right, we're going to go ahead and start picking up our mess. And... Uh, I'll show you what we got when we clean things up with it. All right, getting everything picked up. Ralph's doing all the hard work, loading up the truck, and uh, we're just about out of here. I mean, the bees are flying everywhere. Speaking of bees, let me show you what we got vacuumed up. Folks, I guarantee this is every bit of 30,000 bees, every bit. We have the queen, actually, she's already in the brew box. And uh, Ralph will be oh, releasing wow. her tomorrow. Yeah. All right, well, that's all we have for you today. Um, so thanks for watching. For me and Ralph, thanks for watching. Keep on watching. And I'll be making more. God bless, Mr. Ed. I'm out of here until the next video.